Hello everybody, I'm Jemmy, and today I will be giving you a brief overview on how to make an AI in 10 minutes. This is Fast AI for Kids episode 1, and let's get right into it. First off, the timer doesn't start yet because, of course, I'm not making an AI yet. I'm just going to give you a slideshow of what we're going to be doing and uh, how we're going to be doing it and what we're doing. So uh, before the timer starts, uh, I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. An AI is actually a type of computer program, um, but it's very different from like a normal computer program, a simple one. So this could be classified as a simple computer program. You can see that there is the input, there's the program and the results. So you give it something like one plus one, the program like does something with it, like thinks about it, and the results would be two. Um, so yeah, that would be how a simple program works. But the thing is that uh, to make it an AI, we would have to make it think by itself, right? But this one it can't think by itself and it can't fix problems like automatically so there's a guy named arthur samuel and in 1990 and 1949 they actually thought of a way to or the program to be able to think by itself or fix problems on its own um and that is instead of having only inputs going into the model there's now a thing called weight weight is actually something like to uh, adjust the result of the model so you can adjust the weight um to be higher or lower and then you see the results and then you like look if it's good or bad and then you can adjust it uh, again and repeat until you have a great a uh, model but there's a problem with this it is that the weight we have to adjust it manually on our own um, instead of having something to do it for us so now we actually uh, have an improved version of our model and you can see that there is a new thing that is performance and it updates our weight um, and this is called an, uh, an automated mechanism which is basically uh, going to our results and looking at the results and then seeing uh, what we get from the results. And that is our performance. And then we update the weight according to the performance. So if the performance is bad, then we just change the weight and then we see if it's better or worse. Uh, if it's better, then we uh, keep on doing it that way, is tweaking little by little until we get what we want. But again, this is just a thought. So um, we actually don't have it yet. This is all called machine learning. And machine learning is basically when you train programs um, and use them to uh, let them be able to learn from their mistakes and then correcting them, making them better and better. So that is how they get like get really good at like video games and stuff. And now since this is just like a thought process, it's not actually a real thing yet. We can start trying to make it a real thing. So people have actually used this model right here and they replaced it with neural networks. And neural networks are functions that can be used to solve any given problem by just changing the weight of it. So it can solve like any type of problem at all and now that since that part is true the model has been changed let's replace this part right here the performance uh and then updates the weight according to the performance this part right here we can change it but what can we change it to luckily we have a thing called sgd or stochastic gradient descent which it basically updates our weights according to the performance and now we have all the parts enabled um so yeah we have made an ai now this is how what an ai looks like however this is an old version of an ai it, we have made it to the modern age and this is what it looks like now uh, you can see that there is one added thing called labels and the things have been changed the names have been changed so you can see uh parameters is actually weights architecture is model um predictions is basically our was it our result and loss is our performance um so it's pretty much the same thing except we added labels uh labels is basically like uh let's see our input would be 10 pictures of dogs right and we put into our architecture and the architecture trains it 10 times um and eight out of 10 images that our ai classifies as a dog so the predictions would be eight out of 10 images are dogs and then two would be other animals and if and then that would be our loss loss would be 80 percent um 80 percent uh no 20 percent error rate uh and basically 80 percent accuracy but then the label says all ten, all 10 pictures are dogs then the loss would become uh zero because we have classified most of it as a dog um so yeah that is basically how this works but if like it gets like really low like 40 percent and then the label said all 10 pictures are dogs then the loss goes update the parameters changes it and then sees if it's better and then it loops again and again and again so that that's how an ai works and let's go create an ai um this is basically the entire code for an ai can you like believe it it's like so short right look uh, believe it or not you can't believe it. it it's not that short it's actually shorter than that this is the entire code for the ai that short it's like what in uh 
under 20 lines so it's really short and let's go create it um now this you might be wondering hey where did you just go this is a collab um and again if you didn't watch ep0 make sure to go watch ep0 uh it'll explain a lot of things we did um but this is basically our ai in 10 minutes and once i say start the timer will start but uh yeah so this is our collab file you can actually go into the description the first link in the description click on that and you'll come to the same page as me uh so we can go look through this together uh so i'll be explaining how each line works and what they do um, and by the end of this you will have a ai that can classify if an image is a cat and how much percent it's a cat um this will work on your any computer you don't need to download anything just go into here and it will work 100 percent so the timer starts now all right so this is fast ai for kids episode one make your ai ai in 10 minutes um so let's start the first line is basically to uh, pip install fastbook which is fast ai so install fast ai into your collab workspace let's click run uh now this part we're gonna have to connect to our uh server or google thingy i don't know uh but we can actually make sure by clicking on edit notebook settings and then make sure this is gpu uh then click save and once it's connected it will run and it should not come up an error there you go once it has a little check mark there that means it's finished and we can go to the next one so this one is uh, these lines are to import functions from fastbook or fast ai so we can have more of a wide variety of computer models um, that we can use so let's press run all right once we're done with that we can now go on to the next one right here is uh where we start to download a standard data set of uh data sets from fast AI's data collection and this is a pet data set so we would have 7390 images of dogs and cats combined um, from 37 37 different breeds of, of both dog and cats and then we will after that we will use a function to separate the ai uh from dogs and cats so let's get the data set first and in the data set the files aren't separated for us like dogs and cats uh and we'll have to create our own function to separate them but don't worry that's not that hard i'll show you how to do it okay now our code is finished and we're ready to go to the next one so the next one over here is to create a function which will separate our uh our what do you call it files from each other so dogs and cats um how we're going to do this is all dogs files are uh the file name is all lowercase but in cats files the file name is the beginning letter is uppercase so uh we can create a function that sorts out lowercase and uppercase um in this case uh oh my god i'm saying case too much so cats are going to be uppercase and dogs are going to be lowercase uh so that's how we're going to separate them and this is just to create a function so let's run this too and you can see it runs rather quickly uh now we're going to go to this one right here it might look intimidating at first but don't worry it's not that much uh so first we're going to separate them which we already did so we're just recalling the function that we created up here and now we're going to be creating a code or not creating a code using a code that will transform our images in some way which will help increase the ai's accuracy and um we have an option to batch transform or image transform image transform is to basically change the image one by one Batch transform is to change an image like in a batch or like in a group we're going to be using image transform today and uh we're, how we're going to transform it is we're going to resize it to 224 pixels by 224 pixels um this way i find it like the best result so yeah change it to that but right now i already have it changed for you so you don't need to do anything now we're going to be doing valid underscore pct equals to 0 0.2 this is basically setting our validation set um to 20 percent of our data set so that'd be like 7 20 percent of 7390 right yeah yeah so we're gonna set the validation set and we're gonna set a seed 42 uh this is so that we want the val we need the validation set to be the same because if we put the validation set in the training set then it would be kind of cheating since our ai uses the validation set to train and if it's trained uh if it's tested by the image that it trained already then it means that um it doesn't it's going to be 100 percent either way since already it already knows what that image is so we have to make sure that we keep the validation set different uh, apart from our training set and yeah that is the code right there press run all right once we're done with that we're going to now create a cnn or a convolutional neural network um we're going to be using the cnn uh and uh, we're going to be using dnn with the architecture of resnet 34 
Res934 is like a pre-trained model, so it already has been trained by, uh, by other people. Um, you can see it has 34 layers, and we're going to be using our metrics as error rate. Now, error rate and accuracy, you can change this. Um, right now, I'm using error rate, which is more simpler for me. Uh, basically, accuracy is 1 minus error rate, so you get 1 subtracted by error rate. If the error rate is like 0 0.1, then the accuracy would be 0 0.9. Um, so yeah, but I'm using error rate today. We're also going to be using a pre-trained model, which is our ResNet 34, as I said earlier, uh, which has been trained by 1.3 million images. That is a lot, but it's not specific to cats or dogs. Instead, it's more of a general um, idea like roads, uh, road, buildings, cars, bicycles, uh, airplanes, stuff like that. So it's more uh, general and we have to fine tune it for uh, it to be great uh, and more specific towards dog and cat. So now we're going to click play and you can see the bottom line. We're going to fine tune it one time. Keep in mind, this part will take a little bit longer. So um, I might cut this out of the out of the part if I out of the timer, if I like take too long, but I probably it probably won't matter that much. I don't think you stupid. OK, guys, I'm going to use utilize this time wisely. So while it's running, I just want to mention something called overfitting. Overfitting is when we fine tune our AI too much. By the way, this number right here, you can actually change this to be like 100 or like 10 or whatever you want, and it will train the AI that much times. The more times it trains, the better it gets. But if you train too much, then it, the worse it gets. Let me show you an example. So when you train an AI like pretend uh, 15 times with two less data, then the accuracy would actually become worse instead of better. Uh, so that's overfitting. Um, right now we're, i'm gonna only train it one time which is really good uh it would be like uh you can see this is a pre-trained model right here well, the one without any fine tuning it's 0 0.004 but now this is going to be the one with the fine tuning at 0 0.003 so that's the really good um I'm, so i'm not going to change it too much um but if you want to change it to be a higher number just be careful of overfitting which is when your error rate goes back up instead of going down all right let's move on so this one is creating a this code creates a button for us to upload our images to, or to let the AI uh, basically um, to, uh, predict the image for us. So if we run this one, it'll just create it. And this is to show our image, uh, our button, sorry. Here you go, this is our button. We will use this later. Um, and then this one basically displays our image that we're gonna put in. So we're gonna do a cat image speed run right now. Cat, okay, go, 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 go. We just need to find one picture of a cat, uh, this one. And I'll save it, save as, uh, image save image as and just save and then don't make it too big um i don't know how big mine was but if it's too big it won't work click upload and then go into this code right here then it will uh, show our image like so that is the cute cat and now we're going to predict the image to be if it's a cat or a dog this first code is used to predict it and then these last two codes basically just shows the result so let's click run this is a cat with a probability of 100%. And that is how you create an AI in 10 minutes. You can actually change this to be anything you like. The image could be of a face of your parents, of yourself, or of your cat if you have one. Um, and then you can see if it, uh, if your cat's really a cat or not, or if your family members are a cat. So yeah, that is how to create an AI in 10 minutes. I hope you enjoy this episode. Um, again, the link is in the description uh, if you want to follow along. Uh, but yeah, this is it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.